How do I choose the right martial art? This is a question I get quite a lot and I thought I'd come on here and make a long video just to see if I can help even one of you to help find your martial art. First things first, you have to figure out what you want your goal to be from partaking in martial arts. And while we're on the subject of goals and choosing paths to take, I just want to introduce you to the sponsors of this video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the biggest online therapy platform in the world, and it enabled me to mentally organise myself better in my martial arts and in life, and helped me become laser focused in on my goals. It will take you through a short questionnaire to find out exactly what you need, and then it will connect you with your own personal therapist who is waiting to help. And you can switch therapists at any time if this one is not the one for you. BetterHelp also has a messaging feature which allows you to contact your therapist without even having to call them. So if calling them or FaceTiming them is something that you don't really want to do, you can easily get in contact with them through your message so it's safe and comfortable, completely down to you, whatever you need. This gives you the three options of live text, phone call or video call. So if you're like me and you needed a bit of help focusing mentally on what was important and the goals in your sport or in any other areas of your life, and if you're interested in any of the things I've just listed about BetterHelp, then go ahead and hit the first link in my description and start improving your mental well-being today. You won't regret it. Okay, back to the video. So. When you're figuring out your martial art, you need to first figure out what you're interested in learning. Whether it's striking, punching, kicking, throwing, grappling, groundwork, whatever it is that you're interested in, you want to find a martial art that caters to your wants. Some examples of striking arts include kickboxing or Muay Thai. If you're solely interested in punching, then boxing is definitely the one for you, in my opinion. If you're interested in mainly kicking, however, then I would say Taekwondo is a very good option for you to choose because Taekwondo kicks, in my opinion, are the best kicks in martial arts. For grappling or throwing type work, then I would say Judo or wrestling would be good options for that. And for groundwork, I would definitely recommend Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If you would like a big mixture of everything and you wanna learn striking, grappling, groundwork, all of that good stuff, then I would say try and find an MMA gym to, to join because this encompasses everything, so. Yeah, MMA for that, for everything. Next, you have to find your club or your gym. Um, please do research before you do this because you do not want to end up in a McDojo. So first find out whether the club you're looking at has a decent reputation and it doesn't hand out belts like candy. Next, have a taster session. A lot of places offer free first sessions so you can trial it and see how you feel. And remember, if you go to one of these taster sessions and you don't like it, it's not too late to back out and try something else. Everyone is entitled to give it a go and say no. Once you've found the class that you think is right for you and you're settled in, you can take some time to take everything in and start learning and enjoy the sessions. I would say the first few months will tell you whether this is something that you think you can carry on for the long run. But if you do realize after a few months that this is something that's not for you and you're not really interested in taking it any further, then again, it's never too late to back out and try something else. But I would say definitely give your classes a, a good go. So a good month or two of consistent going to the to training, just so you can really experience everything that the martial art has to offer before you say no, basically. Also, nothing is stopping you from learning two martial arts at once. This can actually be very beneficial for martial artists because they get to see the point of view from two different martial arts and put together two very different technic technique styles. For example, if you put kickboxing and wrestling together and you learn them both, you'd become quite a good all-round fighter. Although in my opinion, I wouldn't try to do this too early on in your martial arts career because you might end up getting a bit confused, especially if you choose two martial arts that are quite similar like karate and taekwondo with the kicks and stuff. This will just make you get confused and then it will probably put you off martial arts. So I would say stick to one to begin with and then once you feel quite conf confident and comfortable in that martial art, then you can maybe try and branch out and try other things. Personally, I've done karate for 16 years and I would definitely recommend it. I feel like it's got a nice range of techniques. You know, you've got punches, kicks, throws, takedowns and yeah, I think it's, it's quite a good martial art. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but that's the same for every martial art. So I would recommend karate personally, but it might not be for you. I hope you can take something from this video. Uh, please let me know if it helped you out in the comments and also drop in the comments anything you'd add. So any other advice you'd give to people who are trying to find their martial arts, see if there's anything else we can, we can give as a community to these people. I'm sure they would really appreciate that. Thank you for watching the video as always. Um, subscribe for more content like this. Give the video a like, give the video a comment. Um, let me know what you thought of it. See you in the next video.